Hi all, in this video, I'm going to share complete Salesforce QA roadmap means if you want to start learning Salesforce testing or if you want to switch your career to Salesforce QA role, then this particular roadmap might for sure help you guys out to start off with your Salesforce journey in testing field. Okay. So uh, as you can see the slide, uh, like there are four main stages which are really important in Salesforce testing. Okay. So coming to the first stage, first thing is Salesforce admin. Okay. Before starting testing on any application, first of all, you guys need to understand the application. Okay. Then only you guys can go ahead and start testing and understand like where exactly it went wrong and which is working as expected. Okay. So first and foremost, understanding the application which you guys are going to test is really important. Okay. For that thing, if you want to learn the Salesforce application, sales at purpose, if you want to learn the Salesforce application as a whole start off with the salesforce administrator okay so in the salesforce administrator like we will be learning multiple concepts okay it's not only about the salesforce admin role but also overall as a salesforce application okay what it does how it works lot of things you will know okay another thing is uh like everybody says salesforce administrator is the hardest part in the salesforce okay so that's why what i suggest you guys is if you're going to start your salesforce qa journey first start learning salesforce administrator okay that is the major part okay first thing you have to know the salesforce administrator concepts at any cost without that you cannot start salesforce qa okay next now from where I should learn. Okay. First thing is we have a trailhead. Okay. So, um, which is an official Salesforce learning platform, go to the trailhead. Uh, you can search with the Salesforce admin trail mix. You can start learning from there. Okay. From that, you can get an overview of what is a Salesforce administrator. You can do the hands on so that you can clearly understand in a practical way also. Okay. And one more suggestion, guys, already in my YouTube channel, I have already made a video on complete Salesforce administrator, like um, where you have to learn the Salesforce admin concepts. And in my channel only, I have covered most of the Salesforce administrator concepts. OK, so I please suggest you guys to go and check my Salesforce admin playlist. OK, next salesforce admin certification so this is very important guys if you are going to apply for any salesforce qa role outside they will ask you whether you are admin certified or not okay this is minimum criteria now everyone outside recruiters are checking this one for sure okay at most minimum you have to be a salesforce admin certified so what i suggest is in the process of learning uh, salesforce administrator concepts learn properly and try to clear the salesforce admin certification also very important otherwise you will not be qualified for most of the salesforce qa roles outside in the companies okay you have to be a Salesforce certified administrator. This is the minimum criteria which outside all the recruiters are checking now. Okay. If you're not certified, then they will not even consider your resume. Okay. This is what I have experienced. Okay. Very important. So the first stage is this one, guys. So if you want to start with your Salesforce QA journey, you have to learn the Salesforce admin concepts. Very clear. You have to be expert in that because in salesforce qa interviews they are going to drill you guys with the salesforce admin question okay they are going to go very deep with the concepts and it's not simply like it's a completely theory i can just go through some questions and i can clear the interview no it's not like that leave about the interview if you want to work as a salesforce qa also you need to know admin concepts very clearly okay then only you can clearly understand like how to navigate to some particular application inside salesforce okay mm. uh, how you will know if you're not able to view some particular object whether it's an access issue or it's a code issue so a lot of things you can understand only if you know the salesforce admin concepts okay very important so this is the first stage okay next stage is what testing so you guys uh, need to know the minimum basic testing fundamentals okay very important as you're going to work in a testing in a testing role obviously you need to know the 
minimum basic testing fundamentals okay like how to do the exploratory testing what is ui testing what is api testing you need to know the agile methodologies also so all the testing strategies everything you need to know okay if you're already into a qa role then it's well and good okay because already you know the testing concepts right so just you need to learn the salesforce administrator concepts okay so this is also very important it's not only like if you will learn the salesforce admin concepts then you can go ahead no you need to be clear on your testing fundamentals also okay this is the second stage guys okay now coming to the third now you know the salesforce administrator concepts you know the testing concepts now both how you will apply in your salesforce testing that is very important you need to form that connection okay like you need to apply your testing skills and your salesforce administrator skills on the salesforce platform which you are going to test that is also very important if there is no connection there then again you guys will fall apart okay you cannot even test anything properly okay you might miss lot of defects also so this is also very important now coming here how to make that connection means what exactly i mean salesforce testing means for example if you will clearly know the salesforce admin concepts and testing concepts only uh, you can do the ui validations properly like all the basic validations like for example um uh, on the salesforce ui this is a very basic generalized example but just uh, for you guys to understand on the ui if you are if you are uh, creating a case okay and uh, in the case subject okay you are giving some simple numeric values okay for example so it's uh, giving you an error like it's not giving you any error okay you think so that's a uh, that's an issue because how you will understand from your testing knowledge you will understand like okay in a subject we should be able to give only the characters right we should not be able to give any numeric values and all which it doesn't make sense if in your subject simply you're giving one two three that doesn't make any sense okay but if or if you already know the salesforce admin concepts also you should be able to understand like we can apply the validation rules okay we can apply the validation rules on any field on in inside the object means what so you even though you get giving some numeric values it's not throwing error, any error means what some validation rule is missing for that particular field okay so in this way you can connect the dots okay so if you know both of the testing and admin concepts you can clearly uh, go inside the validation rules for that particular case object and check whether any validation rule is already added or not if it's not added then you can go and check with the salesforce developer like uh, for this we are expecting this particular validation rule to be added but uh, it's not added is this as expected like that you can check with the developer okay so th this is called as connecting the dots okay like your testing concepts and your salesforce administrator concepts together you should be able to apply on your salesforce application then only it will work out guys okay this is also very important so the third point is how to apply your testing and salesforce administrator concepts on the salesforce to go ahead as a salesforce tester okay so here you can see right i mentioned like ui validations integration testing salesforce administrator salesforce developer that's what if you have another important example if on your salesforce application suddenly you're facing any access issue okay from your testing uh, concepts perspective you will think like okay access issue it's some issue it's okay but if you already know the salesforce admin concepts also it's not just an issue okay it's an issue from the salesforce admin side so you have to reach out to your salesforce administrator and get your access checked okay so in this way you have to link both the testing concepts and the salesforce admin concepts okay then only you can work as a salesforce qa okay you need to clearly understand like when you need to reach out to your salesforce administrator and when you need to reach out to your salesforce developer okay for any particular issue this is what about salesforce testing which i mentioned in the third stage okay now coming to the last and the fourth stage is automation how we can perform automation on salesforce okay so salesforce has its uh, inbuilt automation uh, tools like uh, process builder flow builder that is again completely different okay that comes completely under core of salesforce concepts under salesforce admin only that is different but if you are doing any ui validations or if you are doing any api testing okay api validations which are related to salesforce because salesforce internally calls multiple apis right so if you want to do that api testing separately 
on postman or on soap ui if you want to do that validation okay uh, if you want to do that kind of automation also if you're updating anything on salesforce that gets uh, updated in the downstream system which is the db if you want to do this validations whether whatever data you're applying on ui whether it's getting updated in the db also or not whether if you want to compare both the values so all these kind of automation testing in salesforce if you want to do you can do using multiple tools okay which are available in the market okay so my personal favorite is selenium only as always because it's an open source and currently i have been using uh, selenium with python from past two years on salesforce only and it's uh, doing great actually uh, like uh, lot of things how i'm satisfied with the selenium only so that's what guys uh, you can use selenium also either selenium with java or selenium with python okay for salesforce automation okay next you can use playwright also okay which is another open source tool outside in the market okay like uh, for, as part of my learning purpose i just automated few uh, scenarios on salesforce using playwright javascript okay it worked really well actually and it was easy also to learn and implement it on salesforce on a go it was was very easy so you can use playwright also and tosca also a lot of companies will be using tosca actually it's a low code no code automation tool for salesforce automation you can use tosca as well but it's a uh, licensed i guess i never used uh, from my personal friend and next uh, provar another automation tool is also there which is also a low code no code automation tool so provar is also very famous for salesforce uh, automation testing okay so these are the different options we have for automation to be done on salesforce okay for different validations so my personal favorite is selenium only but if you want you guys can explore other tools also you can explore no code logo automation tools also if you know any other uh, which if it's satisfying all the conditions which you need and if you're getting wonderful results then it's good actually okay so that's all guys these are the four stages which are really important for a salesforce qa and this is the complete roadmap for you guys which you need to follow to become a salesforce qa that's it guys this is the four stages the complete roadmap to become a successful salesforce qa outside I just wanted to share with you guys as i have been receiving multiple queries in my inboxes so i hope you guys found this video really helpful thank you so much guys for watching this video thank you